Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with an eDrawings tech tip. You'll notice that with eDrawings 2015 that the interface is quite different than it was with eDrawings 2014. This was done to bring the interface more in line with eDrawings on other platforms such as tablets. You might notice that a lot of the controls seem to be kind of in the opposite position as previous. All of these icons here along the heads up toolbar used to be along a standard toolbar. Things such as measure, section, and stamp, as well as the animated views, can now be found measure, section, stamp, and the animation views can be found in a, in a pop-out window in the opposite corner. Open, print, save, and send are now along the left rather than being on another toolbar. You'll notice that the viewing area from 2014 to 2015 gets significantly larger as a result of these small changes to the interface. Another change worth mentioning to the interface is the markup command. In eDrawings 2014, I would access it up here on the left hand side. I'd click on the pencil and I could add a note. I'll just place it there. And the note would be added. If I rotate my view, it disappears, but I can access it again by single clicking on my uh, markup view. In 2015, this can be accessed from this markup button on the bottom right. I'm going to add a new label with a leader. If I rotate my view, it disappears. If I want to access that markup view again, as with 2014, I single click on the on the markup view and I'm taken back to my note. A couple of new enhancements in eDrawings 2015 include the ability to access a saved or a named view. I can also access annotations, annotation views. So as I turn on some of these annotation views that were created within SOLIDWORKS, I can hide or show dimensions and notes. Whereas in 2014, you might think that I would have access to named views here, but these are just the standard views. If I wanted to, I could create a markup view in order to show dimensions, but this would all have to be done within eDrawings whereas this dimension and this note were created in SOLIDWORKS. To hide the annotations, I can turn those back off again. Some of the other changes that were introduced in eDrawings 2015 are in the area of assemblies. If I select a component in the graphics area and then access my tree, you'll notice that it highlights the component. This could also be done in, in eDrawings 2014. However, one of the things worth mentioning though is that if I select a component that's part of a subassembly, it doesn't automatically go to that section of the tree. If I have that, if I have the subassembly expanded outward and I select the component, it does highlight though. To show the same functionality in 2014, or to show that functionality in 2014, if I select the component, it highlights it in the tree. Selecting another, oops, let's close that. Selecting a component within a subassembly you'll notice that it does expand out the subassembly and show it in the tree. A 
one of the other things that was pointed out on the forums is that if you hover over a component, you'll notice how I get a tooltip telling me what component this is. In 2015, unfortunately, that does not appear. However, in both versions, I have the ability to right-click on a component and say New Part Document, which opens it up. In 2015, it opens it up in a new window, whereas in 2014, it would open it up as a separate window within, within my same assembly. So I right-click, say New Part Document. It opens up as another, as another document within here, and I could Control-Tab through 